Family and friends gather in West Philadelphia to remember a young life cut short by gun violence. A 16-year-old was shot and killed at a rec center last week. Alicia Reed is in West Philadelphia where the community came together. Alicia. Good evening, Yuki. It's been five days since Kyrie Simmons was shot and killed at the Christie Rec Center behind me. And today, friends and family gathered to honor him at a prayer vigil and balloon release. Black and white balloons released to the heavens, celebrating a life taken way too soon. That was my mommy's baby. That was her world. He was our little brother. Tragedy struck at the Christie Rec Center Thursday, injuring a boy and girl, both 15, and killing 16 year old Kyrie Simmons. He did nothing wrong in this situation. He was just here doing what all of us do come to Sherwood, play basketball, and just be kids. Detectives continue to investigate this senseless tragedy. Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw says social media is fueling a lot of these conflicts, and they're now having detectives monitor those conversations. Life has turned into one big reality TV show. You don't have to be a celebrity or with a following or with cameras in order to advertise your life or, you know, document every moment of what we're saying and what we're doing. Advocates and officials say parents can play a role in monitoring their teens' social media usage. Instagram shared tips for parents in a new guide released today. Pastor Carl Day says talking to teens can spark change. A lot of times I think that we don't think about how polarizing social media is. Instagram's restrict mode allows your teen to keep an eye on a potential bully. They can't tell they've been restricted, and posted comments aren't visible to anyone else but the person who wrote it. Back in maybe our day, whatever our day may have been, you know, if you had a problem with somebody, it was just between you, them, and probably the few people that knew. Now you got 6,000 followers, so in everybody's mind, all 6,000 people see you trying to play me. So now this is the way we have to handle things. Officials urge parents to step up to the plate and pay attention to their children's social media. Now, if a parent or any family member sees something that is of concern, you can reach out to police anonymously. You can call 911 or their tip line, 215-686-TIPS. Reporting live from West Philadelphia, Alicia Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Yuki. All right, Alicia, thank you for that.